What's up YouTube? So a little uh, something different today. So as you know, I'm kind of disillusioned with um, Magic the Gathering. Kind of like Rudy from Alpha Investments, how he says like nothing is special. I kind of feel the same way, like nothing's special. And I've kind of always liked Legos and the opportunity came up locally. A uh, big seller here locally called uh, Big Discount Sales um, wanted some Magic the Gathering. So we took their offer to kind of flip into this with a big collection. Because not only did I want to collect Legos, there were, so, there were some sets here that I wanted, and there were some sets here that he had that I would want to just build with my daughter Penelope when she gets older. So let's check this stuff out. So I'm very big into Star Wars, as you know. For Hot Toys collecting, I have Star Wars only. Some, some Spider-Man, but anyway. So he has the Imperial Shuttle here. He has this three-in-one set that was only in Walmart. Quite a few of these are actually... Um, Retired sets. Uh, two advent calendars for Star Wars here. I believe this is from Costco. Pretty good quality for those two boxes. And there's one more. Or maybe that was it. <laughs> yeah, so those are the Star Wars sets there, there, and there. And yeah. Some other cool stuff why I picked this lot up. There's this frozen uh, Lego set here. I could build with my daughter this Main Street building set. And then some more friends, kind of like little girl sets for her to play with when she's older. And then, yeah, he just threw in some other cool stuff. This one's retired, kind of doubled in retail almost, this Batman car. This one looks pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Aston Martin just because of uh, James Bond, which will have a James Bond watch from Omega coming up later, video for that. And this, some, this is just kind of cool, retired set, looks cool, but this is pretty sick. This. I've been wanting that since, set since I saw it, and we got one. So pretty cool. Oh, this is a big one too. Back to the Future, I've been wanting to build that, and uh, we got it without spending a dime. And then just some cool investment stuff. We got two sets here of uh, The Office. And this three-in-one set here. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Am I, am I crazy for trading Magic the Gathering singles into this? One thing, uh, some of the boxes kind of have damage because I guess he's like a discount seller. So he gets these like at auction. So some of these boxes are kind of like not amazing quality. And I think as a, mag as a Lego seller, um, most of your buyers are collectors and they want their boxes in like mint condition. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. Because these boxes seem pretty weak. Like, look at that folding damage on the left side of that Imperial shuttle. Yeah. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Am I crazy for flipping into Lego? Obviously, this was... I have, like, $60,000 worth of Magic the Gathering products. So, this was literally just a small dent in my collection to get this stuff. But yeah, I can see why space is an issue because this is uh, taking up a whole last table. We actually have another big lot coming in from a trade. Um, and uh, I'll post that video when that lot comes in and show you guys what I picked up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Were these, was it smart flipping from Magic the Gathering with how their direction is as a company in 2023? Were these good sets to pick up? I'm kind of a fan of these office sets and the Lego ones because I wanted it and the kind of girly sets for my daughter. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.